Six years vegan now, what have I learned? People are stubborn, that's definitely true. But also things have been progressing pretty well, I reckon. New places have opened up that are fully vegan. A nice place called Cuckoo on Ponsonby Road in my hometown. Also my dad, he's not fully vegan, but he did four weeks of vegan plus honey and he lost five and a half kilos. So that's an awesome plus. But yeah, the world's changing, I reckon. I, I like looking at other places around the world and seeing what's going on. And I think definitely more people are leaning towards uh, trying to live healthier. More people kind of drinking less and eating less red meat and all that. I and mean, it's all positive, that's for sure. Going vegan, yeah, it's obviously difficult for some people. For what reason, I don't know. I did it, other people have done it. Anyone can do it. But yeah, people are funny when it comes to social situations. And that's just the way it is. People bow to social pressure, which I think is silly. But then again, adults appear to have it all together and they don't. That's also true. But, you know, more people that do it, the more people are going to think that it's normal. And then the more normal it becomes, the less likely it is to feel awkward in a social situation. And then, hey, you know, maybe they'll label themselves as a vegan, such as I have. If you've watched my other videos, then you will have seen the things that I've done in the past year, going from five years to six years, the 500k ride, which is absolutely insane, and also the 100k ultramarathon. Two big things that I have achieved in the past year, and I have plans for more, which you'll hear about if you keep watching my channel, but I'm not about to let everyone know just yet. Other things with me, uh, nothing's really a whole lot different. I haven't been sick for a long time. It's about two years or so now, loving that. I get regular good sleep, I eat really well, I've had a lot more raw days last year and this year, and that's been good. Closer to our natural diet, the more I can do that the better. I have found a new love for persimmons and some other fruit that I didn't even know existed prior to being vegan, which is exciting. Just been having awesome raw days on persimmons yesterday and I'll have another one again soon before they run out. I guess one thing that has really changed is that I am just a whole lot more bold with how I get the message across to people that are even the slightest bit curious. Just very simple to the point, not rude or anything, but just just saying it how it is because obviously, you know, been vegan for six years now, many other people are vegan. Clearly you can thrive on a vegan lifestyle. So calling out people politely or well, kind of, you know, just like putting it to them quite simply that if you're not vegan, then you are contributing to animal abuse in some way, whether they like to think it or not. That's just a fact. And people are going to get up in arms about it. They're going to get sad. They'll put up their shields and their defenses. Hey, you know, at the end of the day, it's their conscience that's unhappy with the words that are being spoken to them. It's not me that needs to be attacked, although they can, and it's not the animals because the animals are just defenseless, innocent beings caught up in this ugly mess. So yeah, I just put it more bluntly and yeah, you know, people want to be upset about it, then that's up to them. I'm going to try and speak up for the poor and innocent defenseless animals any way I can. And hopefully more people change as a result. A uh, few more people have asked about watching certain things. Uh, even my workmate just the other day said, can you give me a list of things I should watch? So I gave him a list of Dairy Scary, Earthlings, Cowspiracy, What the Health, Forks Over Knives, The Game Changers, you know, the standard ones. And yeah, hopefully he watches them. And I said, look, it's one thing to watch them. It's another thing to act and start changing your actions because ultimately that's what has an effect on the world not just say what you think you want to do. Anyways, I'll wrap that one up there. I am forever hopeful and have a positive outlook on hopefully how the world's going to change. And yeah, time will tell. Any questions about being vegan for this long, please post them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.